Hi, Claire Hudson here with Nadara Lee. I thought um, since it's the new year and I've overdone it these last couple of weeks, I would make myself a detox juice, basically from fruits and vegetables um, that you can buy at the grocery store that are really rich in flavonoids and carotenoids, all of those good things that can support your body as it's going through detoxification. Um, I know my body is perfectly capable of detoxifying, but it needs to have some help along the way. I need good nutrition, the right minerals and vitamins. So tonight, I thought I would do that. Why not? What am I waiting for? So I thought I'd share with you, it's a little awkward, my bowl of fruits and vegetables that I have prepared earlier. So I'm just going to put this down because it's a bit awkward. But um, let me go through some of the things that we're using. So I'm going to incorporate turmeric into the juice because turmeric is a great source of curcuminoids, of course, and um, it's great anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant, it's got loads and loads of good stuff. And along the same lines as that is ginger. This is organic ginger. I've roughly taken off the skin, mostly because it's um, a little bitter for my taste. And uh, so I'll grind that up in there as well. The ginger rolls in ginger are very similar to the um, constituents in curcuminoids. They're anti-inflammatory, um, they're antioxidant. So um, a wonderful source to have in the detox juice. Going along the same lines, talking about antioxidants and flavonoids and carotenoids, I've got some blueberries here, which are going to be chucked into the Vitamix as well, some carrots, which are a really great source of carotenoids as well, and I also have red bell pepper. Um, that's another great source of anthocyanins. Whenever you see a red, a deep red color like this, or purple, or blue or you know the deep colors then you're looking at essentially antioxidants at its greatest so this is something that I, I will chuck in there as well I've got some celery in there um, for its minerals and electrolytes also have some kale and some organic kale and some parsley those are my my green sources so in green vegetables, they're high in chlorophylls, which is really great for your blood and it's nourishing and building. Um, so I'll incorporate that as well. I've got a beet, beet, beet. I'll be using a beet for the betalain alkaloids, which is a great um, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, and also um, the anthocyanins that are in beets are, are a really great source of that too. Did I mention the Jerusalem artichoke? Um, Jerusalem artichoke is going to be incorporated in the juice as well. Jerusalem artichoke um, is very high in inulin, which is basically food for your good bacteria in your gut. So I'm going to throw a bunch of that in because I know I've overdone it with the sugar and I've probably fed the bad guys that are in my gut right now. So I'm going to try to rectify it. So this information, um, I learned just recently through taking a course with Lisa Ganora. Um, so she was explaining how all of this would work and I thought, you know, why not? I'll give it a go. For the liquid to grind all of this up, I'm going to be using a cranberry juice, which is really low in sugar because the whole point of this is to not overdo the, the sugary stuff. And there's only eight grams of sugar in this juice, which is really low for a bottled juice. So I'm gonna chuck that in as well. Um, and this, as you can see from the color, it's really a rich source of anthocyanins as well. But um, what I learned from Lisa Ganora just recently was that the tartness that you have in cranberry are actually these little organic acids that will act as a preservative. So when I chop up everything in the Vitamix and have, you know, everything combined together, um, there's a tendency for those constituents to oxidize. And so this will prevent them from oxidizing and act as a natural preservative. So that's quite exciting. So I'm going to blend it all up and show you what it looks like. <laughs> So here is the finished juice and it does look kind of thick but that's what you want. You want some of the fiber in there as well and there we have it. So cheers, here's to good health, happy new year and I hope you enjoy your detox juice.
isn't really a juice, it's more like, well, a very tasty, pasty, juicy paste. But it's a juice, because it's mashed up, right? Mmm. It's good. You do have to kind of chew it, though. Yummy.